I just saw a nice buck, really nice buck, like 100 yards away. I was gonna shoot him, but they ran over the top and couldn't get the cameras up. But we'll see if he's around this backside. He's borderline, he's really nice. Big 5.0 on one side, and then his right side just didn't grow. It's like a big spike with a split on it or something. We came around the corner, we seen a bunch of does. Didn't see anything, any bucks. I actually dropped my back to go use the body and looked up there. He came up over the top, was chasing the toes around. He might be over on this other side. If he has, I'm probably gonna shoot him. I hesitated, but second to last day, gotta make something happen. My role this morning is to try to cover as much country I can and locate a buck. Casey and Eric and Andy are up in our little zone where Casey had some success last year. Myself and Tyson are just trying to look at different areas that those guys can't see and get to and see if there's any possibility in finding a, a nice buck that's cruising looking for does first stop was unsuccessful so heading to a new place but I'm gonna pretty much just cover as much country as I can in hopes of uh, picking something up that would work and then maybe trying to make a play at it this evening uh, depending on what those guys end up doing they may stay up there all day I don't know yet but if I find one it's a good buck uh, that we could get on they'll probably cruise down here and see if we can uh, make it happen for the evening so getting tough pretty much a day and a half left down to the wire. Casey has a tendency to do this. I'm not sure why he thinks it's necessary to wait to the last day to get a deer. It'd be a lot easier if you just got one earlier, Casey, but you know, gotta, gotta squeeze every last day out of these hunts. He just, you know, really enjoys the experience, wants to take it all in. That's, that's what he tells us anyway. Well, we can never catch up to that one horned buck again, but we got down to Absolute giant on Bob Private. Yeah, he's freaking a stud. He's like one of the prettiest deer I've ever seen. Just perfect. But man, he's a half a mile in onto Private, so it's fun to watch him. But there's got to be other bucks in here somewhere. This is right. If you guys watched our last year's semi live on this is the place I killed my buck on the very last day and we haven't been in here this year so we thought we'd come in here not nearly as many deer this year but uh, yeah, there's a few and we just need one so well pretty successful morning on I think I saw some bucks I saw a lot of deer I saw some cool deer. I saw some cool deer for sure man I'm thinking should have been more serious and tried to kill that deer this morning, but it happened so fast that we couldn't have caught it on the camera. And looking back now, like when I saw him, it got me excited because he's a big deer, but he's only got his left side and then his right side just grows funny. But I mean, second to last day, it's a great deer, It'd be a management deer. He's an older deer, just doesn't have very good genetics. Like that again. Yeah, that's true. Cool. But that's how it happens. So we're hiking out. We're actually thinking about <clears throat> coming and hunting that deer again tonight, just to see. I'm sure he's gonna be around close, but day and a half left. <sighs> coming down to the wire. It's like it always does on this hunt for me. But I've enjoyed every second of it, and I'm gonna continue to enjoy every second of it. We're live. Where's that cable? Guys, we went 
town. <laughs> town, grab some food. We're headed back up on the mountain. We had to go get the video uploaded. And uh, we're hoping we're gonna go try to shoot that one horned buck. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You are terrible at this Dude, game. Cut it out. I got you. You want phone scope tonight or not? I'd rather laugh at this. <laughs> it's our favorite game. You guys should play it. But be safe. That's not very safe. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Charge. Anyways, guys, uh, we decided guys, they want phone scope tonight. I need to get. Hey, some I got power. my camera. My phone. All right, you run the camera and everything. I'm gonna do everything. You guys, right. can, you guys can just wait in the truck. I'll be back. We're gonna go, go try to shoot that uh, really cool unicorn buck. Definitely decided that's probably one of the most unique bucks I'll ever had a chance to shoot. So we're gonna go see if we can get him killed. Hopefully he's in the same spot as he was. I'm guessing he's not far from it, but we'll see. He's always gotta one up us, you know, on a uniqueness. That's why he waits for us to kill first. I just want to enjoy my life to its fullest. Every day, every hour. Casey gets his money worth, that's for sure. He only kills on the last day. <laughs> Dude, I tried, you know. I was like, I'm gonna kill a deer within the first five days. It never happened, so. Well, at least you get your money's worth for this tag. Definitely got my money's worth. Well, we just got to uh, where we're gonna stage for the evening hunt. It wasn't a whole it wasn't much of a hike, but we got enough vantage to see a lot of country. Right where that buck was earlier. That uh, five by spike thing. Super cool buck. Hopefully we see him tonight, and if we do, we'll have like a 450 yard shot. But uh, we got the glass. Andy running the big camera. Mr. Casey LeVere. We're gonna get a buck down, guys. We got. We got all day tomorrow and tonight, and that's it. So, wish us luck. All right, guys, we got him. He's right there. It's the, the five by spike we saw. Casey's over there ready to shoot. Good shot, Casey, you hit him. He's running downhill. He's going down. Down to the left in the yellow grass. He's climbing to the top, Casey, find him. He's Just look with your binos, okay? You gotta find him. Left, giant log coming off the skyline. Look at the top ridge, you'll see his ass. Yeah, look on the skyline left. You'll see his right, his white rump. Let's get over there. Dang, that first shot thumped him hard. I don't know how he was able to run whatsoever after that shot. We got to take a look at the video and, and watch everything. But uh, Casey, that first shot was perfect. I don't know how that deer's moving. I'm gonna give him some time and uh, we'll go over there and find him. But that's the buck we came here for. We weren't here for 10 minutes and Casey spotted three does moving. Sure enough, he came over the skyline and Casey just put a, a great shot on him. Yo, yo. Hey man, what's going on? I'm trying to find a deer. All right, we'll try to find one, man. Try to find one. The second to last day, we gotta find one. Don't be uh, talking to people on the road and stuff. Just find a deer. Okay. Or you can come up here and help me go find my deer I just shot. Pretty little dog. You're a little <laughs> dog. <laughs> little chihuahua. <laughs> Are you serious? Was it the one you were looking for? Yeah, unicorn buck, dude. Came out just like freaking clockwork, just like we planned. That is amazing. <sighs> Stud. Yeah, we're just at the end of the gate. We're gonna go up. We, I hit him, dude. It looked like it blew out his front shoulder. He ran downhill like he was gonna death wobble. 
and then turned and just went up over the top and I hope he, I think he's dead but we're gonna go see okay I'll uh I'm in the middle of this BLM road so okay. I'll start making my way up there I'll uh, send you a a track of when we get up there so you can follow it here we go guys I'm gonna go recover that buck okay. we'll be right on top of that we uh we reviewed the video we watched the phone scope okay. video of it which turned out really cool and that's what I love about those phone scopes but he did. He thumped him right in the front part of that left I shoulder. He ran over the top, though. I don't know how he made it that far. Felt super good. Like, <sighs> I hope he's dead. This is my biggest, always my biggest worry and fear on a hunt is you shoot an animal and I can't find it. But we're gonna find it. Me yeah. and Eric, are, we've had experience doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a tracking job or two. So I'm gonna pack up and uh, head up the mountain, guys. We're just getting up to where where the buck was when Casey shot him and where he ran. He shot him up there in that brush right there. He made a half circle and then up by that big log right there. Here's where he was, right here. Went down and then up. First blood. Here's his track right here. Yeah. That's a huge help finding blood. This is his track. He came up, up and over, and he topped off. Right behind here. Well, we uh, made a small little push through this timber. We lost blood, so I decided to come back. Sure enough, we thought he went left. He went right. See that? So, he's somewhere over here. We were hiking over there. We're gonna find him. Watch the footage again. It looks like I made a great shot. This perfect shoulder shot. We got on blood and we followed it for about 100 yards. But it's getting super dark, so we left our packs, hit the last blood, and uh, we're gonna come back first thing in the morning and get back on him. I think he's dead. I really do. Just watching the shot over and over. Has to be. Has to have went in and hit that shoulder and blown some bone up and penetrated lungs. I'm surprised he's gone as far as he did. He's gone about 100 yards down. He went uphill and then downhill. But it's the most frustrating, saddening thing that can happen when you're hunting. Not just seeing an animal all season is better than that. If you wound an animal and he runs off and dies somewhere and you don't find him, giant waste, but we'll be back. We'll be back. Such a down note. It just really frustrates me to shoot an animal and know <clears throat> that it could run off, be wounded, die somewhere, and just not not know. 
I'll tell you one thing though. I'm a big believer in this, and this is just my opinion. I'm not saying this is should go for everybody, but I was taught by my dad that, that you shoot one animal on your tag, you recover them or not. That's your animal, so we're gonna go find the unicorn bucks, or what we've been calling them. We're gonna go find him tomorrow. Because I got three baddest dudes with me. But if we don't, that's my hunt. And we'll go away from this hunt. I'm learning a lot, like I do on every hunt, so yeah. But look at that man. Insane. Gorgeous.